Ain't it good to be in the house of <laughs> yes, the Lord? Yes, it is. Yes. Hallelujah. It's good to us. He's so good to us. Yes, he is. Tonight, we're going to be in chapter 12. Proverbs chapter 12. And uh, I hope y'all looked over the lesson tonight. It's a good lesson. We're starting to move into the contrast of things in Proverbs. I know we've seen a lot of contrast before, but almost every verse in this chapter has a but in it. Okay? Now I want you to look at your neighbor and say, but. but. Now look at your other neighbor and say, but. All right, now every time when we read through here tonight, every time we come across that word, but, I want the whole church to say, but together, and it's going to be a little activity, Amen. okay? I was going to do some tambourines, but I don't know how my mother-in-law is going to like that tonight, so <laughs> we're going to go the other route, all right? So when we come across the word, but, in the scripture, I want all of us together to say, but, all right? Does that sound good? Yeah. And we'll get y'all active in here tonight. Amen. Chapter 12, Proverbs, verse 1. Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge, but he that hateth reproof is brutish. Now, as we start this off, this chapter, it starts off again with instruction. Amen? Amen. Instruction, wisdom, knowledge, and instruction are... All three go together. You can't have wisdom without knowledge. You can't have knowledge without the wisdom. And if you got those, you must have been instructed. Amen? I've been instructed since I was a small child how to function in the house of God. Amen? Amen. How to function as a Christian, as a believer in my own life and in my own household. Ever since I was a little boy, I've been instructed Amen? Yes. In the ways of wisdom That's and right. knowledge of the Word of God. Right. Amen? Amen. God. Glory be to God. Glory. It says, Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. So if we love to learn, Amen? I used to hate to read. Right? And we, Coming up in school, I was a troublemaker in school. I didn't want to read. I couldn't comprehend good. You know, the things I was doing was deterring me from all of that. Amen? Amen? And I didn't like to read at all. But once I got saved and I started reading the Word and then I found other tools amen, that helped me understand, I started loving to read. And I can take you over here now and I've got a whole bookcase that my father-in-law helped me put in the trailer. Amen? And it's just full of books. Yeah. And that is a shelf of knowledge. Amen? amen? Come on. This book right here is a book of knowledge. Yeah. Why is it knowledge? Because it's living and it's breathing. And everything in here is for our instruction of the soul. Amen. 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 But he that hateth reproof is brutish. Now, brutish in the translation means beast-like. Amen. Yeah. So, in other words, he... <laughs> This, and I want to read you my commentary because it's funny. I got a kick out of it. It says, he is as stupid as a beast. <laughs> Amen? <clears throat> when we don't follow instruction, when we don't follow after knowledge and understanding and have that instruction in our life, we just like an animal that won't listen. Come on. A, mule. a stubborn old mule. Come on. <laughs> Amen? Have you ever had an animal that just wouldn't listen? Oh, a yeah. dog that wouldn't listen. Amen. Just you just could everything you done, it just wouldn't listen to you. Come on. Amen. Have you ever known somebody Ooh. that every time you told them something, they did the exact opposite? Oh, I was one of them. My Thank daddy you. tell me this, 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 and this. And you know what I do, Susan? Exactly. I do that, 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 and that, and that. <laughs> and you know what I did? I paid for it, I paid for it, I paid for it, I paid for it. And the older I get, the smarter my elders get that are around me. See, my granny's been preaching for so many years. The knowledge that she has, I'm not going to be as smart as her. Come on. Because she's been there, she's seen that, and the instruction that she gives, come on, I need to take heed to it. Well, God has been around 
Since beginning of time, he is the Alpha and the Omega, yeah. the yes. beginning and yeah. the end. Yes, before the world was created, Woo. before there was ever a world, before there was light in the firmament, there was God. Yes. So how do we think that we know better than God instead of taking his instruction and doing what we want to do? That's right. Amen? Amen? It's just like a fool. Yeah. When you do what you want to do, when you've been instructed, you are being a fool. And that goes for everybody. Me, you, small to big. Come on, y'all. Amen? Now, verse 2. A good man obtaineth favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. A good man. Amen? Yes. A good man. Yeah. The steps of a, the, a, a man of the Lord are ordered by the Lord. The steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Come on, that's what it says in Psalms. Right. The steps of a good man. A good man obtaineth favor. Yes. Come on. Now, what's it talking about here? Good. Just being a good person? No. No. There's only one that's good. Come on. And that's God. Amen. And the only good that we have in us yes. is Jesus. Amen. Praise God. So when I'm a good man, you're a good woman, yes. we're walking in the favor on, that we have obtained you. from the Father. Amen? Because when he's got favor on us, come on. You know, that's my son. I love him. He's got my favor that's in right. the good and the bad. That's I'm right. going to stick with him. Amen. Amen. And I'm the son, a son of the Woo! most high Come living on. God. That's Come right. on. And I have favor yes. with him. So whether I'm in the wrong or I'm in the right, come on. Mm -hmm. He has faith. He died for me in the state that I was in as a sinner. Amen. Yes, he did. Come on. Yes, he did. Glory be to God. Favor of the Lord. And when you have the favor of the Lord... Your enemies will bless you. That's right. Yes. Amen. Yeah, they They'll bless you. Yeah, they bless you. They'll just walk up to you and bless you. Yeah, you don't even know what's you. going on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Like but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. Mm. See? God has a but. Y'all say it with me now. But. but. Amen. Come on, y'all. You yes. didn't know there was some buts in the chapter and I did. Yes. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say but. but. I want to iron that into your mind tonight. Because every good thing... There is an opposite. Oh, yeah. For every righteous thing, there is a wicked thing. And you've got a choice tonight. You can be righteous or you can be wicked. You can live as a good man or a good woman or you can be a man of wicked. You can be a butt. Amen. Verse 3. A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. Now, here we go to this, you know, the last chapter we was talking about roots and fruit and trees. Y'all remember that? Yeah. And here he's going to back all of that up here. He says, the root of the righteous shall not be moved. What is the root of a righteous man or woman? The word. The word. The word. What is the word? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. He says, I am the vine, ye are the branches, and the Father is the what? The husbandman. So when we're rooted and grounded in Jesus or in the word of God, come on. Glory be. Y'all happy tonight? Yes. You shall not be moved. It said a tree planted down by the rivers of water. Yes. Come on. Shall not be moved. Shall not be moved. Why? Because Jesus is immovable. God is immovable. I don't care what you do. See, I can go over here. I can go over here to my father-in-law, and I can grab him by the arm, and I can uproot him off of that chair. Amen? Amen. Yes. Come on, amen? Yes, you can. I can do it. I can go over here, and I can uproot him. I can take him off of his seat and sit there if I wanted to. Amen? Come on. But you ain't going to walk to the throne. No. Come on, y'all. You ain't going to walk on. to the throne on, and man. grab God by the beard and pull him off of the throne. No, no, Why? No. Because he's rooted and you can't move him. He's immovable. And when we're connected, glory be to God, you can't move me either because what he has, I have, and he's living inside of me. The root of the righteous shall not be moved. Praise God. You ain't taking God off the throne. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but 
she that maketh ashamed is as rottenness in his bones. Now, this is talking about a wife or a husband. Come on, y'all. It can go both ways. You can be a good wife tonight, or you can be a bad one. You can be a good husband, or you can be a bad one. Right. Come on. And whatever you are to your spouse is going to make or break them. Yeah. Come on. Yes, when I'm going through a trial, I'm going through a tribulation. If I don't have my wife to lean on, come on, and she's not there holding me up in my time of need, come on, most likely I'm going to fall. Yeah, that's right. Amen? That's why he put two together, and you become one. Yes. Amen? See, me and Abby tonight, we're one flesh. It's not right. Abby and Orville. Yeah. It's us. We are together. That's right. Amen? And what I'm going through, she's going through. What she's going through, I'm going through. And without that, it's going to fall. That's right. Amen? Amen? But she that maketh ashamed is a rottenness in his bones. When I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and she's not, it brings death to the household. Amen? Amen. When she's doing what she's supposed to do and I'm not, it brings death to the household. Amen. Death to the relationship. Come on. De death to our, our whole being. Amen? We can't be one if we're not on the same... If two, if two don't agree, come on. That's right. What's the word say? Two walk together in agreement. Yes, Amen? Yes. We've got to be in agreement. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. Mm. Thoughts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> are thoughts. Amen? We're not supposed to be thinking up a bunch of wicked devices. No. That's right. We're not supposed to linger on evil and, and wrong thoughts in our mind. When when something comes into our mind, whether it be of our flesh or whether it be something that the devil's trying to download into your into your spirit. That's right. Tell it. Amen. You gotta take that thought and you gotta bring it under subjection. Yes. Put that thing in the headlock and carry it straight Amen. to the throne Amen. of Jesus Amen. Christ Amen. and get it under the blood. Amen. Amen. And then you tell the devil that he can't operate like that anymore in my life. That's right. Amen? Because we all have those thoughts. I don't care how long you've been saved. I don't care how on fire for God you are. They're going to come. And what, what, it, what counts is how you deal with it. That's right. See, if you think about it and you just keep on thinking about it, guess what? You're going to act on that thing. Yeah, yeah. That's how all sin starts. It yeah. starts right here in your mind. You start seeing it. You start thinking about it. You start healing, hearing it. And it starts to rise up in your heart. Come on. And then what's in your heart starts coming out. If you don't deal with it, come on. Because the heart can be a wicked device. It's deceptive. Amen. You can't follow your heart. How many of y'all have heard that? Follow your heart. Your heart will send you to hell. You better follow the word of God. Come on, church. I feel like preaching tonight. Ain't it good? Hallelujah. Glory. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. Glory. Let's keep going. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. All right, so we have mind, thoughts, right? We have thoughts in the last verse. And here we have words. Amen? Amen? Words. Now, I'm guilty of this. I've been short and mean. Come on. I would flip. Come on, I'm being honest with you tonight. That was my personality. Right. Not for a bunch of foolishness. Amen? I can be very sweet and then... Just one little thing, and I done, I done spit out a bunch of stuff I shouldn't have never said. And you know what? You can't take words back. No, you can't. It's like putting toothpaste back in the, in the, in the tube. Yeah. Come on. It just ain't going to happen. No, no. And you know what? They remember those words. Yes. Amen? They remember the words. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood. The mouth of the upright shall deliver them. The mouth of the upright. Amen? The mouth of the righteous. Amen? We say what we think. We think what's in our heart. Amen? Amen that's right. I said, we say what we think, and we think what's in our heart. Yes. Does that make sense? It does. So when you're doing a bunch of this, and you ain't put the tank, you ain't, you ain't jerked that thing up, come on. That's right. You're being wicked. Amen. Amen. And there's no other way around that. 
I don't care what kind of situation it is. You have no right to talk to somebody in a degrading way. No. Amen? Amen. 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 You have no right to say things that you shouldn't be saying. That's I'm right. spitting on y'all this morning. That's all right. Tonight. <laughs> all right? The mouth of the upright shall deliver them. <laughs> so we have thoughts and we have words. Amen? And you know, it says the but in here and it talks about the wicked part. But if we focus more on what's righteous, then we're not going to fulfill what's wicked. That's why I'm not hitting on it as much as the wicked part. Amen? Yeah. Everybody, all right, look. Everybody's scared of the devil. Yeah. I want you to know not I'm not scared of the devil. I'm not going to sit no. around and talk about what the devil's going to do and all this power that he's got because you know what power he's got? He ain't got none. Amen. 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 And when we think more on what, how big God is and what he can oh, do God. if we live our lives righteous God. unto him, we ain't got to worry about what That's the devil's right. doing. Right. He's going to fight us, but you know what? So be it. That's Let's right. go. Amen. Let's hit the trenches. Amen. Wow. Yeah. Because I got God on my side. Yeah. And I'm a righteous man through the blood of Jesus Christ. So you want to fight? Let's fight. Amen. I've already got the victory. I'm not fighting for the victory. I'm fighting from the victory. Praise God. Praise God. So let's go bring it. Come on. Amen. And that's a bold statement. That's a bold statement, right? But we need to be bold Christians now. It's time that we stop being these kind of Christians. Come on. We hunch down. We 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 hang around. We we're not we're not righteous and and out in the open. Come on. We need to be bold. We need to have a boldness. Yes. The Pentecostal church used to be real bold. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Now, I know some of the things that went on wasn't exactly right, but the boldness was good. Yeah, well, Amen. You knew what they was. Yeah. Amen. What do they know about us tonight? Come on. Verse 7. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. Glory, the house. A man shall be commended according to his wisdom, but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. Look, there's the heart. See that? Yeah. We have mind, we have word, we had heart. So that tells me that everything that's coming from the mouth is coming from the mind. Yeah. Everything that's coming from the mind is coming from the heart. Where is your treasure at? What's it say in John? Come on. Y'all help me out. What's it say? It's where your treasures are. Where are we putting our heart? Amen. If our treasure is in Jesus on the throne, rooted and grounded in God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen, we're not going to have anything in our heart Come on, that's, that's right. unpure, that's going to make us think evil things. Now, I know and say things. Come on. I know that we're going to have times that it would be hard not to because we live in the flesh. Oh, yeah. Amen? Amen. But, y'all say that now. <laughs> but, but, if we follow after God and what his word says, we don't act on these things. Amen? Amen. And over a period of time, your heart will become pure. Oh, yeah. Come on. Into a perfect man or woman. That's what the word says. Amen. Glory be to God. All right, let's keep moving. He that is despised and hath a servant is better than he that honoreth himself and lacketh bread. He that is despised and have a servant is better than he that honoreth himself and lacketh bread. How come the world likes us so much? Because we act like them so much. Because we act like them. Amen, that's true. How, if we're Christians and, and, and the world hated Jesus... Yeah, Amen. They hated yeah. the apostles. They hated the disciples. They hated them. They killed them. They murdered them. They murdered. Jesus was murdered. Yes. Y'all know that, right? Yeah. He was murdered. All of the disciples were murdered yeah. except for one. He died of an old age. That was John. Yeah. Come on. But he went through it. Yeah, he went through so it. how come we get we get along with the world so good? How come we like the world so much and they like us? Because we're too much like the world. Yeah. We're not bold. We're not standing out. Amen? Right. When they have wickedness, we don't stand up and say, but God. Amen? Amen. You're going to do this, this, and this, and this, but God That's says right. this, this, and this, and this. Come on, y'all. Right. Amen? 
Glory. Let's keep moving. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. But, the, but, yeah, that's right. I forgot myself. Let's read it again. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Amen? The temperament of a righteous man, of a righteous woman, is going to be humble, right. even to an animal. Amen? Come on, y'all. Right. Ain't that the truth? That's what the Word says. Yes. It says, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. The tender mercies of the wicked. Amen? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying there? The wicked... Even when they try to be tender and yeah, merciful, are cruel. still cruel. That's right. Because they're wicked. Yeah. That's right. Come on, y'all. Right. Amen? Amen. They're wicked. Wickedness flows from the heart. Yeah. Wickedness flows in their mind. Wickedness flows from their lips. Every time you turn around, it's wickedness and it keeps coming out. What you put in is what's going to come out. Amen? Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Yeah. Amen? That's right. Amen. I said, Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. <laughs> He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth vain... Now I missed it again. I got so excited. He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. Amen? A man that works with his hands and does what God has called him to do. Amen? In these times and these days, God called them to be shepherds, Amen. Yes. He called them to do certain things in their community, in the yeah. nation of Israel. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody had a job to do. Yeah. Come on. Well, as we sit here in the church tonight, everybody has a job yeah. to do. That's and right. when you do your job, you're going to be satisfied. When you spit out them seeds, come on, and the wheat comes I in, really hallelujah, we're going to take that We're gonna take Woo! that harvest, and yes. we're going to make some bread. Hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, it's bread. It's bread in the house of the Lord, and it's bread in the ones who are working and doing something for God. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. But he that follows vain persons is void of understanding. What's a vain person? Self-absorbed, wicked. Come on. It all goes with the flow. Void of understanding. A, a man that's vain is going against God. Yes. Amen? It's in vain. You remember? You hear that? It's in vain. All these things are in vain. That's what yeah. Paul said, right? It's all in vain. Amen? Well, when you follow a vain man, come on, you're void of understanding. That's right. The wicked desire the net of evil men, but the root of the righteous yieldeth fruit. Now, what's the root of the righteous? We Jesus, just learned it. Jesus. Jesus is the root of the righteous. So he yieldeth what? Fruit. In us. Right? Maybe Fruit maybe. in yeah. us. Yeah. So when we have our heart right, we got our mind right, we got our Fruit. mouth right, come on, yeah. yes. the fruit's going to come. Yeah, it is. Because when Jesus is in there, when the vine is attached Woo. and it's flowing, yes. the branches have to produce fruit. Yeah, because yeah. why? The vine is living. Yes. yes. The vine is living. <laughs> Jesus Christ is living tonight. Yes, he is. He's living. He's not in a tomb. Yeah. He's not wrapped up in a napkin. No. He's not on a cross somewhere. He's not bleeding. Come on. He is on the throne as yes. king. Yes. Glory yes. be to God. Wow. And he yes. is rooted and grounded. He Woo! is the root. Hallelujah. And I'm rooted and grounded Thank in you, him. God. Praise God. Woo! And I'm going to produce fruit as long Amen. as I'm attached to him. Amen. And I got my heart. Mind and mouth right. That's right. Amen. That's right. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. But the just shall come out of trouble. A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his <coughs> mouth. And the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. So what you're working, what you're doing, and what you're proclaiming. You hear what I say? Come on. What's your work? What you're doing with these hands? Where you're going with these feet? And what you're proclaiming out of your mouth? Your words that stem from your mind and your heart? They produce fruit. Yeah, they do. Amen? It's fruit. Good. A man shall be satisfied. Satisfied with 
good by the fruit of his mouth and recompense a man's hand shall be rendered unto him yes. that means you're going to reap what you sow oh, you're going to yeah. get in what you put out That's amen right. and when you proclaim a thing you proclaim it by the word of god see when i come into the house of the lord tonight i didn't come to a dead dried up service no, no. i come to be living yes. because i'm attached to the vine i don't want to be a dead and dried up christian because I'm living and I'm attached to the vine. And dead things don't produce fruit. No. Come on. Right. I said dead things don't produce fruit. Amen. They cannot produce fruit. They no. can't do anything. There's no life circulating in them. No, Come on. Curse. You know what they do? They wither up and die. That's right. A plant, if it don't get the right nutrients, if it ain't watered, if it don't have sunlight exactly like it's supposed to, it will wither up and it'll die and it'll fall down to the ground. Yeah, and that's what a Christian will do if you ain't living your life by the word of God. Amen. You ain't got your prayer line, your, your prayer life straight, and you ain't reading and you ain't studying, and your heart and your mind and your mouth ain't lining up to the word of God. You're going to wither and you're going to dry up and you're going to fall to the ground. Amen. 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 Absolutely. Glory. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Amen. Here we go again with, with counsel. Amen. Yes. A fool's wrath is presently known, but, but a prudent man covereth shame. Amen. So here we have counseling. Amen. We have counseling. Come on. Right. We have to take counsel. Yeah, from do. the ones around us. Amen? They have wisdom that we haven't understood. And we can listen to those things and we can learn from them. That's right. Amen? Yeah. Now, some people counsel you in the wrong way. That's right. Take wise counsel. Wise counsel. I'm not just going to listen to anybody. Come on. That's why we got to be careful about who we're listening to on the radio, yep. preaching. Come on. Yep. You've got to be very particular who you let into your spirit. You Come on. Oh, yeah. Because they'll lead you astray. Yeah. I said they'll lead you astray. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that they're, they're devising wicked imaginations and plans against you. Yeah. And they present it as truth. Yeah, they do. And then before you know it, you done withered up and shriveled yeah. up and died. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And no fruit. So we got to watch who we take counsel from. Amen. Glory. Glory. He that, amen. He that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness. But, but a false witness deceit. Here we go. It's the same things, man. I'm driving that in your mind tonight. What comes out of your mouth is what's been in your mind. What's in your mind is what's in your heart. Let's say it again. What's coming out of your mouth is what's in your mind. And what's in your mind is coming out of your heart. Where's your heart lie? Come on. Speak truth. Amen. There is that speaketh like the piercing of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. Amen. Amen. A soft answer turneth away wrath. Yes, it does. I can't tell you how many times my nanny's told me that verse yes, right there. A soft answer turn away wrath. Oh, yeah. You know, no matter what everybody else does, you stay sweet. Yes. Stay sweet. No matter oh, yeah. no matter how they do, no matter what they say to you, no matter what's going on, you keep oh, that yeah. smile and you stay be sweet. sweet. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and it'll carry you farther. It sure Come on. Did, too. It'll carry you farther. Won't it? Yes, it will. I said, won't it? Yes, it will. I said, won't it? Yes, it will. Amen. <laughs> Piercing of a sword. You know, that was my problem. One of my greatest problems. I was I was sharp. 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 Amen. Pierce you. And don't even think about it. Like, it don't even affect me. Like, I'll... I'll mm, <laughs> and I've been hurt somebody. And I'm, I'm over here eating ice cream. You see what I'm saying? Not even thinking about it because it was flowing out. That's right. What was it? It was wickedness is what it yeah. was. And it's not right. No. And then I got someone over here offended at me. Amen? Come on. That's right. Come on. We've all been here. Oh, yeah. We've all been here. Yes, We've we all have. let that mouth run more yes. than we should have let it yes, run. Yes, we have. Come on. Yes. And then we deal with it. Yeah. Come on. Ain't that right? That's right. The lip. 
of truth shall be established forever. The lip. But a lying tongue is but for a moment. But truth lasts. Yes, it does. Truth lasts, y'all. Lies don't last. No, no. Lies don't last. Because you know what? Everything that's in the darkness is going to come to the light. That's right. You might lie and lie and lie and lie and lie and lie. You might get away with it today and tomorrow and next week and next week and next week and next week. But sooner or later, God's going to put his finger on it. That's right. And when he puts his finger on it, the longer that it's been going on, come on. The worse you're going to have to pay for it. Amen? True. Tell me it ain't right. That is true. You better just go on and say the truth. Amen. Speak truth. Yes. Yes. Let the truth be in your heart. Let the truth be in your mind. Let the truth be in your lips. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. But, but to the counselors of peace is joy. Here we go with the heart. I told you. Yeah. I told you. Where does it stem from? The heart. The heart. Where does it go? To your mind. And then it comes flowing out. Amen. It's like Danny. He said, Danny said, you want water? I said, no, I got that living water. Amen. Yes. That living water. That living water is flowing tonight. Amen. Not on my own accord. But God put it there. Praise God. It's like I'm standing here and he's got this, this jug. And my cup is running over. And he's just pouring it out onto yes, my head. And hallelujah. it's coming out of my head and going out. Woo! Amen. Hallelujah. That's how we got to be everywhere we go. Yeah, right. Not just at church. Oh. Not just standing in the pulpit. Not Pour just that. teaching Sunday school. Not just singing or playing the drums. Oh. That anointing flowing in and out. Woo! Everywhere we go, we ought to be walking around like yes. God has got this big pitcher. Come on. Oh, a barrel. Wow. And he's just pouring it on us. Yes. And as much as he can pour, it's just a flowing right out. Yes, because we're vessels for the flowing. Come on. That's it right. should be yes. truth. Yes. Just Man. flowing out. Anointing. Just flowing out. Yes. Mercy and grace. Woo! Just yes. flowing out. Love and compassion. Hallelujah. Just mm. flowing out. Power and victory. Wow. Just flowing out. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on. Yes. Flowing. Yes. Flowing. Let it flow hallelujah. tonight. Flow. Ain't that good? Yes. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Amen? Amen. Glory. Let's go to 22. We're getting close. We're going to wrap it up here in a minute. Look what that verse is right there. 22. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. What's yes. his delight in? Truth. 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 What's got to be in your heart? Truth. Truth. What's got to be in your mind? Truth. Truth. What's got to be in Truth. your lips? Truth. Truth. Hallelujah. What's got to be in them? Truth. 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 It says that lying lips are an abomination. Yes, that's what the word says. Abomination. You know what the word abomination stands for? Something that God hates. That's right. You know what God hates? Sin. You know what lying lips are? Sin. You know what a person that has lying lips are? Wicked. That ain't my saying. That's the word of God. Lying lips are abomination to who? To Orville? No. To the Lord. Yes. To the one that's seated on the throne that you can't uproot. Because his truth is supreme. She brought that out a few weeks ago. <coughs> Susan did. Talking about people arguing and saying, "Well, this is my truth." Oh yeah. And she hit the she hit the nail right on the head oh, when she yes. said that because I I tell Everywhere you what, you all the time people are saying that. That's it well, truth. this is my truth. <laughs> yeah. Which, and she said it. She said as soon as somebody comes out of their lips, <laughs> as soon as they come out of their lips with that, you already know that they're full of wickedness and deceit. That's right. My truth. They've been fooled. Yeah. Amen? Because it ain't your truth and my truth, your opinion, my opinion. It's the word of God. That's right. This is the supreme truth. Yes, sir. Not no book no. that somebody has wrote. Not no uh, thing that a judge has proclaimed. That's no. not truth. Truth is the word of God. Amen. Truth is the word of God. Truth is the word of God. Amen. And if it goes against the word of God, it's not truth. Amen. He said, let every man be a liar. Come on. Amen. And God be true. Truth. Hallelujah. 
A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the hearts of fools proclaimeth foolishness. Heart of fools. Amen? A foolish heart is one that has no truth in it. Yes. Amen? That's right. Have you ever seen somebody who thought they knew what they was talking about, but yeah. they didn't know what they was talking oh, about? Yeah. Amen? I said, have you ever seen somebody who thought they knew what they was talking about, but they, know, they, they, just, they just didn't know what they was talking about? Yeah. Amen? You know what them people are? They're fools. Oh, yeah. My grand, my nanny likes to tell this story of, it was a bunch of atheists. They got an atheist cemetery out there somewhere out west. And a big limousine rode up beside the chapel talking to my granddaddy, telling him how they won't know God. They out here trucking for Jesus. Amen. My grandpa looked at him. He said, you know what? The Bible speaks of you. God spoke of you. I said, oh, yeah, what did he say? He said, there's a fool says in his heart that there is no God. Amen. Come on. Come on. That's what the word. That's truth. It was truth rolling off them lips that day. Amen. It probably pierced a little bit. Come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. Amen. We got to watch it. We got to keep ourselves right. Amen. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule. But... The slothful shall be under tribute. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. Mm. You ever been around somebody who's just happy all the time? Yes. Even when it was bad? Yes. Happy all the time. I got a friend. He had somebody pass away in his family. And I went to the funeral. And I, if it would have been me, I, I don't even know how I could have been standing there but he's just walking around smiling <laughs> had the biggest smile and the greatest demeanor uh. I mean he was just happy in the Lord and I'm thinking to myself how in the world I'm over here all tore up for him and he's just as happy as can be <laughs> and I'm sitting around crying he's over there rejoicing Hallelujah. amen yes. come on ain't that something how, how can that happen a good word Yes. A good word. I said a good word. See, he had a good word that his father had been born again Hallelujah. and washed in the blood. Woo. Come on. Hallelujah. So you know what? He knew where he was going. Yeah, he Amen. When you receive a good word, yes. come on, don't it make you happy? Yes, when somebody does. shows up and got that big smile on yes. their face, come good on, word. hallelujah, yes. and they just looking good, feeling good, getting hallelujah. better every day, and no matter what comes around, we're just going to be happy, and we're not going to let it affect us. Hallelujah. Come on. That's a good word. Amen. Amen. Yes, it is. Glory. Glory. Come on, y'all didn't like it. We're going to go to the next one. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. But the way of the wicked seduceth them. A fool and a wicked man or woman are seducers. That's why they tell lies. What do lies do? Lies seduce. Yeah. Amen? Truth doesn't seduce. Truth is love. Lies are seducing. Amen? Wicked people are seducers. Yeah. Come on, you say, what's a seducer? Huh? You, you. Just draws you in, tells you lies, and got you thinking the wrong things. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Putting the wrong things in your heart, putting the wrong things yeah. in your mind, and then wrong the fruit of the lips <laughs> comes out. Amen. Glory. The slothful man roasteth not that which he took in honey, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. In verse 28, in the way of righteousness is life. And in the pathway thereof, there is no death. In the way of righteousness is life. And in the pathway of thereof, there is no death. What way is that? It's the way of truth. Mm -hmm. There's life in the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Life. I am the way. The way to the truth. I'm the truth. The way to the life. I'm the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. The way is a righteous way. 
The truth is Jesus Christ. The life is hid in Christ in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory. So tonight, whatever's in your heart is going to move to your mind. Whatever's in your mind is going to come out your mouth. That's right. You better buckle it up. Amen. 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 You better put it in the right place. This starts here. It doesn't start here and here. Amen. Amen. It starts heart. It's heart thing. I said it's a heart thing. Yes, it is. I love you tonight and I appreciate you. And I'm going to dismiss us in prayer. Lord, I thank you for the night that you prepared for us. Lord, let our hearts be transformed and renewed. I pray that you take that old heart out and put in a heart of flesh. Praise God. Lord, that everything that we we would imagine, everything that we would think, all of our thoughts, everything in our minds, it would line up to the truth, Lord. Put truth in our heart, truth in our mind as we study your word and as we pray in our prayer life. And Lord God, let it flow from our lips just an abundance of of goodness and mercy, abundance of truth in our heart, Lord. I thank you for that. I pray for uh, the church tonight, Lord. I pray that you would just bless it. Bless it, Lord. I ask that you would increase it, Father. Bring new souls. Let them get saved. Put that truth in them, Father. Put the truth in us uh, that, Lord God, we can go out and be a light to our community and to our loved ones. And I thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.